Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I recorded and uploaded a video, but I'm back with this review of this beautiful, gorgeous, kinky, coily hair. Um, I will leave all the information for the hair in the description box. I did a review for this company before on their kinky clip-ins, and I will also put that uh, video in the card section in case you want to check out the clip-in video. But I'm just going to review this hair. I received it probably about two weeks ago, and the shipping was pretty fast. When I took it out of the packaging, it was amazing like gorgeous do you see these girls they were even more uniform than this but I kind of like fluffed them out a little bit but so when I first received the hair it came with a frontal and three bundles of hair all 18 inches and the frontal was um I think it was like 14 inches so a 14 inch closure well frontal and three bundles of afro kinky coily hair so I decided to make a wig out of the hair and this is my first time really doing a lace front wig so I was kind of like just testing out the waters and seeing what I could come up with. Um, I looked up a few other YouTube videos to kind of help me along the way and I will link those videos in the, in the description box too. But so I just basically started working on the frontal first because that's what they basically show in the other videos. Um, I went ahead and plucked it and I tinted the lace because it was kind of a, um, after I plucked it, it kind of left these little white marks on the lace. I had to tint it in order to camouflage those uh, white specks on the lace. And I also did bleach the knots because you could see the knots all through the frontal. Um, I think I have a pretty normal size head and this frontal was kind of long for me so I think that they leave a, a bit of extra space for you to kind of like trim it off if you need to or I guess if you just have a bigger head then um, there's enough space on the frontal for you to use. It's very 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 soft. Um, when I first got it I was amazed at how soft it was. I didn't um, co-wash it initially because, I don't know, I just wanted to make the wig first and then wash it all in one go. So I just dealt with the frontal and then I made the mistake of when I first started with the first bundle, I sew it, like I doubled the web. So there's like a lot of hair in the back here. And I kind of like ran out of hair up here and I didn't really want to go back and take it down because I sewed the wig together and it took forever. So I wouldn't recommend doubling. But if you don't double that first web, then there should be more than enough uh, hair to cover the whole wig. And then this stuff gets pretty full. It's kind of like damp right now because I didn't let it fully dry before I made this video but um yeah I really like the hair it doesn't really shed the only time it will shed is when you're like detangling it um, as for the frontal it is a little bit more fragile than the actual wefts themselves so um, you have to be really really careful with the uh, frontal because it will shed and gets more tangly and it's just really more, a lot more fragile. I just sewed the frontal down onto the cap first and then I went with all three bundles and then I also sewed on an elastic band to keep the lace front flat to my head and then I also trimmed some baby hairs in the front so, you, so that they could like camouflage the lace part. I don't know if you can tell. I can still kind of see it. Um, so I'll probably get better as I continue to customize frontals. But this is my first time doing it, like I said. And um, I did my best. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I probably... 
I probably will trim this hair eventually but I kind of wanted to fix it fix the wig before I trim it because um because I put so much hair in the back I would like to move it closer to the front um I didn't end up having to cut any of the webs because like I said I ran out of hair and I just did the fold over method so I didn't cut any of the webs I just literally sewed back and forth back and forth until I ran out of hair and um I did co-wash the hair with a deep conditioner I don't know if you're supposed to do that but whatever it's, it was what I had at the time so I just deep conditioned the hair and it's still really really soft if you guys would like an updated video on this hair then make sure that you comment that below make sure that you give me a thumbs up on this video for posting it I know it's been so long especially if you um, watched my last video you know that I'm having a baby so I've been having a rough time and um but I'll do a pregnancy update so um, you guys who are interested in that uh, be on the lookout for that and I'm going to get out of here I'll see you guys in my next video bye